the National Fair Plovdiv is an institution with 118 years of expertise. This is the largest and most renowned exhibition center not only in Bulgaria, but also in Southeast Europe, and a member of UFI, the global association of the exhibition industry since 1936. The fairground covers 159,000 square meters and comprises 17 exhibition pavilions. This is the venue showcasing the potential of the national industry. International Fair Plovdiv is also one of the symbols of Plovdiv. This first large-scale event organized this year was the International Agricultural Exhibition Agra. 450 companies from 26 countries participated in the exhibition. Official participation was registered for the fourth time by the Netherlands with eight companies and organizations, while Austria participated officially for the first time with six large companies, including the Austrian Agricultural Cluster presenting 20 companies. On display at the most prestigious agricultural exhibition in Southeast Europe were machinery and equipment for farming, livestock breeding and food production. On display were the latest developments in the production of seeds, fertilizers and organic products. The achievements of the Bulgarian and International Agricultural Science were in the highlights of the 19th edition of the exhibition. Agra 2010 reported 74 innovations including 12 worldwide and 6 Europe-wide novelties. Visitors had the opportunity to view modern equipment, machines and technologies in the fields of farming, livestock breeding, organic agriculture, veterinary medicine, services and information. Vinaria is one of the most attended and most attractive events on the exhibition calendar of IFP. The international exhibition of vine growing and wine producing was first launched in 1993. The most prestigious forum of the vine and wine industry in Central and Southeast Europe is organized by International Fair Plodiv in partnership with the National Vine and Wine Chamber. In 1997, Vinaria has successfully fulfilled the international standards and was recognized by UFI, the global association of the exhibition industry, as UFI-approved event. The exhibition provides a venue for exchange of information, innovations and technologies through numerous conferences, seminars, presentations and meetings included in the business events program. Vinaria opens up unique opportunities for marketing, research and presentation by ensuring direct meetings with customers, competitors and business partners. Every year, thousands of winemakers, merchants and connoisseurs of wine and spirits from over 30 countries attend Vinaria to do business or to enjoy the exquisite products. The attractive design of the exhibition stands and displays creates an amazing atmosphere of festivity. The 18th International Exhibition of Vine Growing and Wine Producing, Vinaria, was held from 14 to 17 March 2010 at the fairgrounds of IFP with the participation of 262 companies from 14 countries. The Republic of South Africa participated for the first time as partner country in this year's Vinaria and organized the official participation of companies from the wine industry. Because they thought it would be interesting, South Africa's in the news this year and we can offer some of the wines that will be drunk in South Africa during the World Cup, which is true, we do offer them here. I have a very good impression, it's not the first time I've been. We, we participated in other fairs at uh, uh, Plovdiv, uh, the consumer fair, the technical fair in September but only with an information stand. This is the first time we've had a big stand and our government has got behind the effort. So we're very happy about that. Particularly well-represented countries among the exhibitors were Italy, France and Germany. 
the Gourmet Salon was organized for the second time at Vinaria 2010 to show high-quality foodstuffs and products matching with exceptional wines and spirits. Well-known chefs were invited to demonstrate the preparation of special dishes and suitable food and wine combinations. It has already become a tradition for Italian winemaking companies to take part in Vinaria. The specialized event Sapori d'Italia was organized for the fifth successive year with the participation of 30 companies. Noi partecipiamo perché riteniamo la Bulgaria sia un mercato in grande crescita e gli italiani credono molto a questo mercato. Какво е впечатлението ви от организацията тук в Панерния комплекс? Абсолютно съм доволен от организацията на на много добро ниво. La vinaria di quest'anno si svolge in un momento economico particolare di crisi che riguarda il mondo. E se non diamo da noi si promuovi mi sento tutti capanere, non si sente stare in un sredisce za cuba visdelki e za obmislene na godišnje. Sia dal trade, dai commercianti, ma anche dal grosso pubblico, presso cui facciamo conoscere i vini italiani. The traditional national wine and spirits tastings are held prior to the opening of Vinaria to select the winners of the Golden Riton Award, as well as gold, silver and bronze medals. For the second year in a row, distinguished foreign wine experts participated in the tasting panels. Among them were Giovanni Gardina from Italy, Graham Bradshaw from New Zealand and Otto Geix from Switzerland. I think there are some very good um, Bulgarian wines, um, especially the reds are at a very sort of standard quality. I think you, you make one of the, you make the almost or in an average the best wine in the Balkan. A total of 676 entries, including 594 samples of wines, 69 samples of rakia, and 13 samples of wine brandy, competed in the National Wine and Spirits Tasting, organized by the National Vine and Wine Chamber. The award-winning wines and spirits were announced at the night of the Golden Return. The national tastings are the most prestigious competition of the Bulgarian wines and spirits organized by the National Vine and Wine Chamber and IFP. At Vinaria 2010, the tasting panel awarded five Golden Returns. Two of them were given to wines on sale in the retail shops. The prestigious awards of Vinaria are symbols of quality, innovation and high technology achievements. Много сме щастливи. Предполагали сме, че ще имаме успехи, но наистина не, не предполагахме. Не... Просто бяхме много очаровани и така приятно изненадани с златния ритон. Това е форума, който е на най-високо ниво в България и почти задължителен. Ще сложите ли върху етикета на това вино тези отличия, които спечелихте? Ами да, защо да не? Bulgaria is among the countries with long-standing traditions in winemaking. The country is recognized by the world leaders of that refined business and Vinaria is one of the most representative wine industry events. The exhibition has contributed to the success of many wine producing and trading companies. Only a day after Vinaria, the fairground hosted the first international fair motorbike show in Bulgaria for motorcycles and ATVs. The event was launched with the impressive stunt ride show of the Hungarian stunter Angyal Zoltan and his team. Zoltan's show on the last day of the fair motorbike show was even more exciting because he celebrated his 25th birthday. The motorbike dancer left without breath three motorbikes and hundreds of spectators. Further stunt riding demonstrations were organized within the three days of the event, where some extreme sport fans managed to show their skills. Нямат нищо общо с нашите представители, то са видя. 
танцуват, танцуват. За тях гравитация няма, няма зелено притегнение, няма нищо. Това е номер едно момчето. И дали сме го до сега само по телевизия. За първи път присъствам на такова шоу в България. Обещавате ли, че ще дойдете отново в България? Надявам се, ще се върна. 12 българиан стантърс компетили за призъс на Интернационал Фейер Пловдив и показали своите астонишни скилзи на много фанс от мотобайк спорта от всички страна. Фейер Фейер Мотобайк шоу бъдат 38 мануфактори и импорти от мотоцикли, а така и много мотобайк фанс. Among the exhibits were motorcycles, scooters, ATVs, buggies, spare parts, accessories and supplies, tuning, outfit, special equipment for motorcycle repair shops and centers, alarm and security systems, transporter trailers. Twice a year, IFP becomes a beauty hub. The fairground has been hosting the Italian festival of beauty and hairstyle for eight years now. Over 80 companies from 10 countries participated in this year's event. The ribbon of the festival was cut by the councillor of the Italian Prime Minister, Mr. Massimo Romagnoli. When my friend Cristiano, Gaetano Cristiano, me brought here to Plovdiv to see his business, his house, his family. Renowned hairdressers and stylists present current hair fashion and makeup. Ma io devo dire che qui a Plovdiv mi sento come a casa mia e poi vedo che c'è molto The demonstrations of trendy hairstyles and the catwalk shows of fashion designers attracted wide audience. The exhibitors presented an extensive range of beauty and hair care products as well as equipment for beauty salons. The specialized exhibitions of flowers and ornamental plants take place annually in the spring and in the autumn. They attract hundreds of flower lovers. Flower Spring and Flower Autumn are events recognized by the professional florists and hobbies. The participants establish direct contacts with producers and traders, business visitors and general public. They have the opportunity to promote their businesses, make deals and effect sales. In the same week, visitors to the International Fair Plovdiv had the chance to attend another international exhibition, Nature, Hunting, Fishing. The 16th successive edition presented 120 companies from five countries. A new aspect was the demonstrations of forestry machinery. For the second year in a row, visitors to the exhibition saw the demonstrations of hunting falcons. The exhibitors offered equipment, outfit and accessories for hunting, fishing and sports. Dog and Cat Shows are the children's most favorite exhibitions organized at the fairgrounds. Over 300 dogs of 30 breeds participated this year. The representatives of the Bulgarian Shepherd Dog breed accounted for the greatest number of dogs. Pet dogs competed to win the CAC and CACIB awards. For the first time this year, IFP also hosted the competition for the most beautiful cat. More than 200 cats took part in the two-day FIFE International Cat Show and were assessed by international judges from Denmark, France, Italy and Latvia. IFP provides a venue for a great number of educational forums. Only within the last two months, four international events of educational institutions, universities and students took place at the fairground. The International Education Fair, the Career Forum and the TF Fest have already established a tradition. The second panorama of the vocational education in Bulgaria was organized for the first time in the National Exhibition Center. Centrix Board of Directors meeting was held for the first time in Plovdiv. Centrix provided a report on its business activities outlined measures to overcome the crisis within the exhibition industry and elected a new chairman. 
Centric's board of directors discussed the vision for the development of the exhibition centers in the period to 2020. During their visit to International Fair Plovdiv, the guests were impressed by the organization at the fairground, the infrastructure and cleanness, the green parks and relaxation spots, the Viennese pavilion and the fountains, as well as by the fact that International Fair Plovdiv is the owner of a TV channel, which has been offering exhibitors the opportunity to present their products. The representatives of Centrex expressed their high appreciation of the National Exhibition Center and of the idea to change the concept of the Spring Fair into an international B2B fair. According to Centrex representatives, the B2B format is very appropriate, because this is the future of the exhibition industry. International Fair Plovdiv joined Centrex, the International Exhibition Statistics Union, last year, in May, during the Board of Directors meeting held in Budapest. Members of Centrix are 20 exhibition centers from Central and Eastern Europe. The 30th International Spring Fair took place under a new B2B format, which was in the line with the exhibition industry trends worldwide. We really hope that the Bulgarian and foreign exhibiting companies would benefit from the new formula of the fair, says Mr. Ivan Sokolov, senior director of IFP. Тук на международния пролетен панер ще срещнете най-креативните и жизнени фирми от индустрията за човека, която създава стила на живот. Това са предприятия, които демонстрират голяма гъвкавост и са вече начертали своите проекти за излизане от кризата. The 30th edition of the International Spring Fair is a good occasion to point out that there is something that is functioning well in the new B2B concept, said Mr. Trichó Trikov, Minister of Economy, Energy and Tourism, in his address at the opening of the Business Forum. The new concept of the panel, which is the name of business and the relationship with business, is the best formula in which, for a big presentation, in the conditions of the market economy. This year's International Spring Fair took place with the participation of about 300 companies from 23 countries. They participated in 10 exhibitions showcasing the consumer and lifestyle industry. On display were 19 innovative products, of which 5 worldwide novelties, 1 European novelty and 13 new products for the Bulgarian market. At the International B2B Fair, Indonesia, Poland and Hungary organized official participation. Visitors to the Spring Fair had the chance to get acquainted with the culture of these countries. On display at the 30th anniversary edition of the International Spring Fair were products, equipment and technologies in the field of sport and leisure time, foodstuffs, building materials, furniture, clothing, perfumery and cosmetics, furnishings for hotels, restaurants and cafeterias. For the eighth successive year, International Fair Plovdiv hosted the national exhibition of specialized companies and cooperatives of people with disabilities. The event was held under the auspices of Mr. Totiu Mladenov, Minister of Labour and Social Policy as part of the activities relating to the European Year of Combating Poverty and Social Exclusion. This year, 45 specialized enterprises and cooperatives participated in the exhibition and presented ready-to-wear clothes, workwear and footwear, plastic articles, packaging and printing products, installation materials, filters, technical aids for disabled people. Nine products were awarded gold medals at the International Spring Fair in the recent years. For the first time within the framework of the largest exhibition, Food Tech, at the International B2B Fair, a Consumers' Choice competition was organized in cooperation with the Active Consumers' Association. The competition was held in following categories. Meat products, dairy products, canned food, bread and confectionery, beer and coffee. The evaluation of products was conducted by the most demanding jury, the consumers, who could also taste the products. The products that received the highest consumer ratings were awarded certificates. Special coffee days were organized for the first time at Spring 2010. Professional bartenders demonstrated their skills and the art of preparing different coffee drinks, while coffee lovers had the opportunity to taste and enjoy the aromatic drink every day. For the second time at the Spring Fair 2010, chefs and confectioners performed demonstrations in front of the audience, who had the opportunity to taste their culinary creations. 
exhibiting companies presented products at a special stage fully equipped with professional kitchen appliances. Another highlight for the visitors was the traditional contest for the National Culinary Cup hosted for the third year in a row. The best chef, best confectioner and best team of the year were chosen. The National Culinary Cup was organized by International Fair Plovdiv and Bulgarian Association of Professional Cooks. At the International B2B Fair, leading companies competed by showing their latest developments and products at the exhibition stands. And again, the best ones were presented gold medals and diplomas. The prestigious awards of International Fair Plovdiv are a mark of quality, innovation and high technological achievement. International Fair Plovdiv provided its partners with a further opportunity to keep abreast of the new trends. The business consulting event was attended by companies seeking consulting on EU-funded projects. A new highlight at this year's business consulting was Rio Bulgaria, a forum on real estate that discussed issues on the real estate market, property management, housing energy efficiency and mortgage loans. It was organized in partnership with the National Real Property Association which has over 400 members active in the sector. The exhibition of the municipalities was held by tradition during the Spring Fair and non-governmental organizations took also part. Again this year, Impresia Art Salon was staged within the framework of the Spring Fair. The event was launched 13 years ago as the only international art fair in Bulgaria. Impresia presented the Bulgarian fine arts by giving distinguished Bulgarian artists the opportunity to show their works of art to the audience of the Spring Fair. The International Fair Poster Competition, the one-of-a-kind design graphic arts competition, has been organized by International Fair Plovdiv since 1997 and since 2003. UFI, the global association of the exhibition industry, has been also engaged in the organization. The Grand Award winners of this year's competition were Messe Frankfurt, Germany and Messe Frankfurt France, SAS, France. A prize draw was held for the visitors to the Spring Fair 2010. Notwithstanding the negative impact of the crisis, thousands of visitors viewed the exhibition stands of the International B2B Fair. The 30th anniversary edition of the International Spring Fair opened up opportunities to overcome the crisis and gain knowledge about people and cultures. Once more, Plovdiv reaffirmed its position not only as the business hub of the country, but also of southeastern Europe. At the end of May, HEMUS, the International Defense Equipment Exhibition, is scheduled to be held at the fairground of International Fair Plovdiv. HEMUS has been organized biannually since 1994. The exhibition sets out its priorities regarding the current global changes. The event attracts the interest of the armament industry complexes and companies, which under the current conditions adjust their production and technologies to handle defense tasks. Hamas 2008 was opened by the President of the Republic of Bulgaria, Georgi Parvanov. Participants in this year's edition of Hamas are over 50 companies from 15 countries, such as the United States, France, Germany, Belgium, Austria, Israel, Turkey and Russia. The scope of the exhibition covers modern equipment for the land forces, air forces and navy, as well as anti-terrorist equipment, equipment and technologies of general use in military support activities. The 5th International Conference on Defense Partnership, Research and Technologies is organized within the framework of HEMUS 2010. Last year, IFP hosted the International Olympiad in Informatics. A record-breaking number of countries participated in the event. 312 young students from 83 countries competed for the medals of the most recognized world event for 2009 in the field of school informatics. President Georgi Parvanov, who was the patron of the 21st International Olympiad in Informatics, arrived for the opening of the Forum of the Young Computer Scientists. Много се радвам, че България отново след 20 години е домакин на една такава престижна олимпиада, олимпиадата по информатика, защото ние не просто сме добър домакин, доказали сме го, но и сме традиционно след най-силните отбори в света. The solutions of the contestants were computer checked to ensure complete objectivity of the assessment. Nearly 10 kilometer cable was needed to connect 400 computers installed in Pavilion 11. 
computer network was built by the Technical Committee of the Olympiad in cooperation with lecturers and students of Plovdiv University and Cisco Academy. On the first day of the Olympiad, the participants were impressed by the organization of IFP and fascinated by the city of Plovdiv. Всичко бе много добре днес. Надявам се утре да се справя по-добре с задачите. Тук има огромна конкуренция. До сега се прекарваме много добре. Тук в България има чудесни хора. Задачите днес бяха трудни, но ще видим като излязат резултатите. The International Technical Fair is the flagship event organized by IFP, the most prestigious forum of investment goods and technologies in Southeast Europe, which boasts a tradition of over 65 years. Notwithstanding the crisis, autumn 2009 brought together nearly 2,000 companies, including over 1,200 foreign ones. Hungary was the partner country of the International Technical Fair 2009. 63 Hungarian companies participated as exhibitors in the fields of machine building, automobile industry, power engineering, environment protection, precision engineering and construction. Visitors to autumn 2009 had the chance to see some of the famous Hungarian discoveries, for example the new derivative of the famous Rubik's Cube, now shaped as a sphere. The International Technical Fair 2009 registered official participation from 13 countries, among which were Argentina, Austria, Czech Republic, Greece, Italy, Poland, Republic of Korea, Republic of South Africa, Russian Federation. Joint participations were organized by Czech Republic, Germany, Poland and Serbia. On display at the autumn 2009 were 72 innovations, including 15 worldwide novelties. Among the Bulgarian innovative exhibits of worldwide importance were the high-efficiency solar systems. Autumn 2009 witnessed the comeback of exhibiting companies from Russia. Nearly 30 Russian companies and scientific research institutions demonstrated the latest innovative products in the field of construction, medicine, computer science, nano and biotechnologies, security systems, etc. Two of the innovations were awarded gold medals. For the eighth year in a row, visitors to the ITF saw over 140 automobiles of 20 leading car manufacturers. One of the visitors to the Motor Show 2009 won a car chosen between seven car makes. The prize was provided by International Fair Plovdiv. The international exhibition Medicus Dento Galenia is one of the most innovative events staged at the fairgrounds. Last year's edition, held in October, was organized with the participation of 185 companies from 24 countries. They exhibited the latest products and methods of treatment and prophylaxis in the field of medicine and dentistry. Among them were five worldwide innovations and one novelty in the European market. The National Conference on Gastroenterology and the 5th International Congress on Restorative Dentistry were held within the framework of the exhibition. Medicus Dento Galenia по принцип се ползва с много висока репутация сред фирмите, които участваме и с много голям интерес от страна на стоматолозите. Професионализма, който съпътства това изложение, е предоставен от международния плодиски панири на ниво, което предполага тук да се случват хубави неща. Ние се възползваме от тази възможност ежегодно. Традиционно всяка година участвам на това изложение. И сега не ме е разочаровало изложението. Изключително сме доволни от организацията в Панаира и винаги сме били посрещани гостоприемно от организаторите. Изложенията винаги са били на високо професионално ниво. Впечатленията ми от Панаира винаги са положителни. Тук има модерни палати, перфектно организирани. Самата инфраструктура също е много добра. Остава само да има много посетители. Не на последно място, мисля, че Пловдив е любимия град на всички хора. There are 14 professionally equipped conference halls with a total seating capacity of 1,500 seats, which are located in different exhibition pavilions at the fairground. The International Congress Center offers opportunities for the organization of business events relating to the thematic scope of the international exhibitions, as well as combined advertising by the MBT TV channel, the newspaper Noviat Glass, on the LED screens, billboards, the corporate website and the exhibitors' catalogues. International Fair Plovdiv provides accommodation for the guests at the St. Petersburg Park Hotel. The hotel complex offers 200 luxury rooms and apartments, catering, tourist, banking and transportation services, as well as free transfer of its guests to the fairground of IFP. 
International Fair Plovdiv is striving to expand its activities beyond the limits of the conventional trade exhibitions, thus opening up new opportunities to overcome the current crisis. The new and modern goods and technologies attract wide audience. Businesses are able to produce and provide not just goods and services, but to offer a lifestyle. The new design and modern vision of the exhibits apply new approach to the consumers.